What's up everyone? So I'm already off to a great start for this round. I actually have the camera out. So we're here, round three, FD Orlando. We just got set up, it's Thursday. We're here getting all set up today. Um, we don't have too much to set up. We got the car ready to rock and roll. Did oil change everything before we got here. May not bolt it quick in the morning or maybe this afternoon. With our new Mr. Cool sponsorship, we're already moving some units, baby. Already sold a couple units, the tire stacks. So we delivered them here in Orlando. They're gonna put them in their trailer. We got Glenn here, he's already cooked us a hot dog. Got me a big poppy lemonade. Eating some Oreos. We're all set up. It's nice weather actually right now. Hopefully uh, the rain will hold off this weekend. Um, and it's actually not too hot yet. So uh, hopefully I'm not eating those words later. But uh, yeah, good start so far. Hey, is Dan here? Hey, Dan, is your wife hot? You better get the AC fixed. Anyways, we're getting ready for driver's meeting and then we're gonna go straight into practice. We got some weather, it looks like, coming in today. Hopefully it holds off a little bit. Tomorrow it's not supposed to rain. Um, other than that, the crew is killing it. The car's ready to go. Um, they're getting everything taken care of while we go to the driver's meeting. And uh, we just ate a little lunch, which was nice. Andrew Cook, Glenn, set us up. We got a hell of a setup here, um, and it's starting to sprinkle right now. But hopefully that holds off, and uh, hopefully practice goes well. So we just got done with first practice. Uh, they're finishing up now. <clears throat> if we would have hopped back in line, we would have never got another lap. So came through, changed the tires. We only got three laps. Uh, it did start pouring in the rain. Um, and honestly, I haven't driven this car much in the rain and haven't driven in the rain at all with these tires, but uh, luckily they do really well. Oh, got a good solid lap in the rain. Felt, felt pretty comfortable. Um, got another pretty good chase with Kazuya. The track was drying up some. He laid down a pretty good lead run to give me, let me do a good chase. Uh, so feeling super confident right now. Car just going over, double checking everything, making sure we're prime for uh, qualifying today. Um, hopefully, you know, we do a little bit better than the last two rounds we, uh, with qualifying. You know, we'll see how that goes though. Um, but we got a fresh set of uh, sticky boys on. And the crew's just double checking, triple checking. Ignite racing fuel, and uh, we'll be good for uh, to go out for second practice. Jonathan Hurst, the pride of Paducah, Mr. Cool BMW, probably the loudest car on grid. So if you don't like loud noises, you might want to plug your ears. This thing is loud. The carbon Kevlar, it's got the Vitours on the corners. Cash Racing Dynasty, let's go. Jonathan Hurst, Mr. Cool BMW. Initiates into that big outside zone, look at that. Man, AR-15 sticking out of the, out of the hood it looks like. Past that inside clip, transitioning now to that second inside clip. 
A little bit off, want to see a different angle there. Now into that outside zone. <laughs> wow. If that guy doesn't have a long future in the sport, nobody does because it's just amazing what hard work and determination will do. And he is a shining example of that. Jonathan Hurst with an 89, and 89 puts him in the 10th position. He'll find himself in the show tomorrow. Nope. What did we do, boys? Pretty damn good. We did it. All right, we finally broke out of our curse for bad qualifying. Uh, maybe like top 12 or 13, I don't know. What sucks is we have to lead first. We should have got 17th, but we didn't. We did better. Anyways, uh, stoked on the team. Car's running great. I mean, the setup from the very get-go has been phenomenal. Practices went phenomenal. Uh, we got another header gasket that we need to replace. I think the manifolds aren't too true, so maybe if we can find somebody with a big belt sander, we're gonna try and knock that out. Other than that, we are going to uh, rest. We got a driver's meeting tonight. And uh, we're gonna eat some steak because Chris is here. We're gonna introduce you to, uh, to Chris um, and his cooking skills here in a little bit. They're in the stands watching right now. Uh, but yeah, big stoked, good day. Big oh yeah, lemonade. I gotta thank Big Poppy Lemonade, you know. But yeah, um, in that run though, at the second outside zone, once I got to a comfortable spot, I literally just put the pedal on the floor and literally didn't lift and just let it pop and bang the whole time. But yeah, hopefully uh, everything is good for tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It's Saturday, competition day. We are nut and bolt in the rear of the car in the front. Um, also about to head to Drift HQ and uh, sand down on our uh, manifold uh, so we can try and make the flange as true as possible so we can quit blowing the gaskets on the manifolds. Hopefully that works and fixes that. Um, other than that, we'll need to get some uh, Vitor swapped over um, so we're ready for uh, battles today. Hopefully uh, practice goes well. Uh, yesterday practice was really good. I felt super confident. Um, chasing definitely wasn't an issue. Um, we're going to go out and try and make sure we can manage our tire wear um, and see how that goes. Hopefully we can uh, make the uh, proper changes uh, very quickly so we can get uh, proper two laps out of the tires. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. Once they extinguish, they are ready to go. And away they go. So here we go. First out front, hold in the chase position. First initiates on the bank. Oh, look at Taylor Hole. Jumps to the side of the BMW. Coming down. Oh, Hurst does exceed the track just a little bit. Brings it, drops it on down. Throwing Taylor Hole off maybe a little bit there. Knocks over that inside clip. Hole in that second outside zone. Hole finds the sweet spot there in that second outside zone. I think, I think this really falls onto what Taylor Hole is going to do out front. This comp cams, Kenda tires, Edelbrock Corvette. Big flick of the wrist by Taylor Hole. Full pull. There we go. Very similar to what we saw from Hole. Gain that proximity. Can he maintain it? So there we go. Hole kept it within the lines there. Hole did exceed it on that lead run. Good transition there. Hole, you see him snap back. So he does have that proximity. He does mimic the angle. Taylor Hole does get a little bit up on that bank, but not too much. I would just say... Off the bank onto the flat, because once you get down on the flat, that's where you've got uh, the compression happening. And let's see who chooses you. And Jonathan Hurst gets the win. So Jonathan Hurst, Taylor Hull. Hurst gets the win. Two to one. Taylor Hull is knocked out. All right. So we're through top 32. We uh, had a pretty good lead run against Hull. Uh, chase run was a little bobbly, but uh, still was able to stick it to him. Uh, pretty good. Uh, we had the pace. Uh, we did run out of tire again in the second lap at the very end but was able to manage. So we're still trying to figure out and manage our tire wear for uh, top 16. We got Frederick Osbo. Um, obviously, uh, definitely gonna have to beat him by like 20% or something, even get the call. Um, usually, you know, the way we say in our team is like, 
if we're going against these top dudes, we're going to have to at least beat them by 20%. Or uh, if we beat them straight up, it's probably going to be a one more time where they're probably going to win. So uh, we know we got our work cut out. Definitely uh, excited to battle them, though. You know, these are the dudes that we want to take out. Um, so we're going to do our best. Cars running phenomenal. Team's on point. Um, tires are great. We just got to manage that second lap a little bit. But luckily, we get to chase first, and I'm super pumped on that. So uh, we, we won't have to use as much tire in our first lap. And uh, the second lap, we may run out of tire some, but that'll be okay. But yeah, looking forward to it. We got, we got our cameraman over here getting some shots, signing some autographs for some fans. The fans have been sick this round. Um, it's super hot. It's cool that all of them are sticking around, though. Hopefully it cools down here in a little while with the shade and the sun going away. So, yeah. All right, we're about to go out for top 16 ceremonies. Pits popping. We got Vitor. Vitor. Everyone's in here. A bunch of Brazilian people that we don't know that Marlon and Chris have uh, brought into our pit. But anyways, good vibes going in the top 16. Ready to go against Oswo. Can't wait. We're gonna we're gonna win. Frederick Osbo on the line, but I'll tell you what, Jonathan Hurst, I, I, I mean, he's a giant killer. You know, we've seen him on the box. He's definitely aggressive. He picked up a new sponsor, the Mr. Cool, keeping it cool, Vitor BMW. Now he's going against Frederick Osbo and that Toyota, the Rockstar Energy Toyota GR Supra. He's on Nitto tires. Let's see what we got. Frederick Osbo, the Norwegian Hammer Sucks in, great angle and good height. You know, we had a dip issue earlier for Frederick Mosco. Hopefully, they worked it out. Now, going to that second inside clip. Look at Jonathan Hurst drops into formation. He has to back off, maybe make a contact. Frederick Mosco uses all the court. Oh, he does exceed that. Consider. I think that's a word that's real. And I said we're gonna we're gonna utilize that word a lot because you're gonna compromise. Okay, you're gonna get that proximity and you're gonna be aggressive on that attack going to inside clip too. But if you get aggressive, you might have to back off, and that's gonna compromise, as you said, for Jonathan Hurst not getting that second outside zone. Exactly. Here we go, Jonathan Hurst initiates with this thing firing off like AK-47. Yo, John Jonathan Hurst addiction. And look at this, here we go, tucking in as Frederick Osbo. And that, you can see that transition a little smoother, but still, Jonathan Hurst is on a ripper of a line. Look at this. Like Toto holding the line. Well done by Jonathan Hurst. At the outside zone too, does a good job there. All right, here we go. Let's slide him left or slide him right. And there we go, Frederick Osbo gets the win. Robbie saying one more time, and admittedly, I, Robbie, I saw you yeah. say Osbo initially. You took a second glance, sorry, to call you out. But no, no, no. You chose, I, then you I chose Freddie and went back to one more time. But Frederick Osbo gets the win. Yes, he does. And uh, I, I see why that happens because I did uh, once go with him. But when I watched the replay, I did see a lot of the compromises that both of the drivers made yeah. um, at the bigger bank. Uh, where Frederick Osbo wasn't as high on the bank and also didn't have the proximity there. Uh, but I do see why the other two judges went with Frederick Osbo. And you know what? I'd have to say Hurst, uh, that was one hell of a fight uh, yeah. that he put up with the, the three-time champion. Yeah. All right. Top 16's over. We did not put Frederick Osbo in the trailer. Should we have put Frederick Osbo in the trailer? Maybe. But for some reason, we can't seem to get a call from the judges no matter what. This is two rounds in a row. Luckily, I'm talking to y'all now, which is a couple hours after the battle, because I've been so heated in the moment and so pissed off that really none of the footage probably would have been any good um, for what I had to say. Nothing against Osbo or Papadakis. Those guys are fantastic. 
Um, Osbo's straight up driver, good driver. Um, it was a good battle, but we felt like we at least had it one more time. Um, if not, won the, won the battle. Um, unfortunately, that's not how it went for us. So, we're just chilling, relaxing, about to load up. We got the crew, the gang. Um, I'm over here <coughs> finishing up, finishing up, getting the car ready, get to go, go back in the trailer. Um, yeah, I don't know, disappointing round, uh, especially being two rounds in a row. But uh, we'll move on and uh, try to figure out a way to beat these dudes. I'm not really sure how right now, but uh, we're going to do our best. So we'll see you all at round uh, four in New Jersey.